and welcome back to Golden Paddling Pool 220. We are now in round three of the top bracket, and I am Pat here with someone very special. It is the birthday boy himself, Genie. Hi, Genie, and happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks for introducing me like that. And yes, yes, it is me. Um, Genie 7 here celebrating on my birthday, but yeah, we are gonna have a great game. We've got 100 um, and 144p, I was gonna say 140p. 144p versus EU Mafia. A little spin on the UK Mafia, and I like mm -hmm. it. Both these teams are here, ready to go. Zones Eel Tail. We would expect it. Uh, anything else other than, um, you know, zone. You know, <laughs> all zones tournament. Oh, and I see a double splash on the side of 144p because I mean it works it all it will always work in that map to have crap tanks galore <laughs> so go, go for it meanwhile EU Mafia going uh, with a uh, no crab strategy with a uh, splash neo and it looks like EU Mafia is already in control and yeah, you uh, yeah yeah and we're gonna be seeing this fight on the right side this is such a large zone map you can, be, you can be fighting on it, and it, will, it can just stay neutral for so long. You muff it. Even though they've got three down, that zone still stayed for a good five seconds there. We are going to be seeing Snipes being able to find one kill spot there on the utility. Octo Agent up on this high ground, has that Zooka. Uh, he's going to unleash it, allow the teammate to frag out with um, with some assistance, and gets another one on top of me on the top left pigeon. My goodness, this is going to be a good hold. Yeah, 144p right now. They have very good luck. And here comes the crap tank, and here comes the DC genie. Oh my goodness, and yeah, that, that DC, I, that was definitely had enough time, so this one mo more than likely can be replayed. And yeah, there, there will be, um, Snipes will end this game, so I'm just gonna make sure that it's not 75 and that it's 50, because that was above 50 um, for both teams, and well and truly uh, there, so don't have to worry about it. We're gonna be seeing, we're gonna be running back these comps. I would like to focus um, Johnny on the ends app. We did see, uh, Johnny bounce around through other uh, other weapons, but I know Johnny's Junior and Johnny Zap in Splatoon 2 were very, very, very strong. Why Johnny was able to go to be one of the top, like, honestly, one of the top supports in um, the UK. So being able to see Johnny back onto that Zap role, um, I'm excited for. Yes, and I'm, I am reading the disconnection rules right now. We are going to have a replay and uh, our disconnected player is already back in the lobby. So we will be right there, right back very soon. Both teams are just pressing A, are trying to get into this game. Yep. Uh, yeah. It's good. it's good. Both teams are going to have to ready up pretty much, pretty much immediately. You don't, there is no rule saying that you have to ready up immediately. You just can't change gear. So you can use this as a team. If you saw something you didn't like in the opening to take a second and reconsider. The, the other team, if you go for a replay, you try not to open with the same um, the same thing twice unless you're trying to get a special. But don't use that special in the same slot because the other team, strong teams will make adaptations. Weak teams yep. will not and they'll fall for the same trick multiple times. Don't try and pull the multiple same trick against me twice in solo queue because I will fall for it uh, again and again and again. <laughs> and yeah, but fault. EU Mafia, they need to adapt to whatever 144p was doing if they want a better opening. It looks like right now no player has pulled down yet. EU Mafia looking to go a little bit more careful at that zone again. They're getting the paint on the zone and here back to the fight on the right is going to EU Mafia's uh, advantage right now and it's uh, 2v2. EU Mafia looking to just keep the zone and that's one of the perks of such a big zone is that once it's painted your color it's so hard for the other team to really even just neutralize it but 144 people finally in control finally scoring points. Yeah they've got a crab tank out and they've got another one in the waiting room. We do see that the squeezer here is here ready to get that tactical with their crab and their other splash core just chilling around. EU Mafia trying to find their way in with his own lead will flip. We've got a Booyah Bomb and an Inkjet coming up from EU Mafia. That's going to force the squeezer into a bad corner. Both a splash and a zap do fall on the side of 144p and the fall a splash to follow that up. EU Mafia uses a lot of specials where they get that zone and getting the zone is extremely important. Extremely important indeed, and right now EU Mafia is making quick work of the penalty. They didn't have that much to begin with. 
That's going to be probably a lead swap, but 144p are looking to get in right away, but they don't have that many special <laughs> right now. EO Mafia, they, they, are, they are dropping. Oh, wait, 144p, they are finally activating the crime tank, and that means the zone mm. is theirs. And they are forcing EO Mafia to just jump back and go back to the drawing board. That's huge. We saw uh, we saw the member of um, EU Mafia be able to jump out. So that means they have the tri strikes ready for this re-engage. They'll have it to follow up with the engine. But they have a tactical alert pad, so they're gonna be back. Um, Ooh, even though yeah. they get spotted, it's just it's just temporary. We're gonna see cat fighting on that lower side. Gonna be spotted um spotted out and leaving just one more splash on this far left side of the map. Are they gonna go down? Yeah, they will. Um pretty close to the crab tank. But uh, you know what? It's worrying because Takami still has these tri strikes. Yeah. And tri strikes is really, really good at shutting down crab tech. Yeah, I guess like the strikes are just waiting for that. The Zuka is going to come out right away. <laughs> That's just going to be a suction boat. Very okay. nice punish. And now the tri strike comes onto the crab tank. Control is contested, but the zone is just neutralized. That's not penal penalty. And EU Mafia is looking to extend that lead and go even further into KO territory. Yeah, and with that tactical, like, even if they get spotted here, they're most likely going to have jumps back pretty darn quickly. 10 ticks left on this zone. 144p has to go quick because this zone is massive. I don't think they yeah. have time. They don't have the members, and they won't. Game one goes to EU Mafia. EU Mafia taking that game one after a DC, but the ability that they had to just get back in and get control really gave them the, the opportunity to, to to move in because, uh, as you said, like they got back in without using the tri strike and hey, nice fist bump. <laughs> that that means uh, they they are in a good position to to really then they have the tri strike to to just shut down the crabs and they can do whatever they want, so very good for EU Mafia. They are one game away from advancing. They are, and I believe we might have either a swap or is that, please don't tell me, that's another disconnect. Anyway, our next map is gonna be Zones, of course. Zones, go yep. battling pool, here we are. Um, on Flounder Heights. Flounder Heights has been infamous why it's either you love it or you hate it. There's that one person in chat of the however many that you are in chat. It's like, eh, it's mid. It's a mid map. But like, I'm biased because I'm a backliner and I don't like playing it and blasters are bad. So <laughs> I don't like playing the game. Give me back Splatoon 1. Um, so I, I see where some people like it and some people don't. Overall, coming out of that multiple, I believe it was quad, sh uh, quad shooter comp, uh, coming out of... Uh, 144p they uh their comp i think is going to suit well here i i think if they if they pull a bucket 144p could very well like really bring the fight to eu mafia and uh, change things mm -hmm. But yeah, as a support and backline player, like I had lots of trouble with this map. And I, I have to admit it's grown on me. And now I'm one of the few people that think it's like, okay, not too too good, not too bad. Hey, I queue up. I would rather rather queue up for Zones Mincemeat than play Flounder. Oh, you take that back. You take that back. I'm an E-leader player, so what are you going to... Like, I play E-leader. Uh, backliner. Like, bad yeah. genie. That's just how it goes. That's just uh, how it goes. No. I can play Tenebrella there. I can play Reflux oh. there. What can oh. I play here? Nothing. I have nothing on my weapon. But what am I can play Luna Blaster. <laughs> Bro, has anybody tried to play that weapon lately? Anyway, here we go. EU Mafia. They get this game. They close out this set. We're gonna see this Tri Strikes be able to come online pretty darn quickly. And I wonder if EU Mafia is gonna be able to follow up on that as a team. This neutral, neutral fight of. I have, we have our roof, you have your roof, and uh, whoever tries to pick and walk a little bit fat past that line too fast is usually the team that, that goes down. Yeah, Genie, 144p, they are back with the double crab. Like, this was a good option that almost worked for them on Eater Ali, but on Flounder? Uh, I think they're in trouble, Genie. Yeah, they. 
They are. Oh, the Zuka can find something? Ooh. Yes, it will. Connie is going to go down. Did you see another member Ooh. in the air? Well, they can me. I don't even think they're aiming for talking to me. They're aiming for snipes. We're going to see this machine on the lower side of the uh, snipe being able to uh, punish at least a squeezer. The splashes are trying to run in. One's going to fall. Is Cat going to fall in the corner? Yes, they will. Utility has to stay alive here. The lone zap. And they're going to. The white boat is going to come through for EU Mafia. What a way to retake. 144p just kind of fell into EU Mafia's arms. Yeah, 144p, a bit maybe too eager to get to the zones. EU Mafia, they had so little points, there was so little penalty in play that just didn't care. So they, they focused on the picks and then they had full control of that top of the zone. That's doing so much. <laughs> nice uh, trade with the Booyah Bomb. And right now, EU Mafia 3 versus 1 is just Cat with the splash looking to save their crap tank for better days. And EU Mafia, they are past the 50 points mark and they are looking to extend that big chunk, Gini. These Zookas have been coming off so clutch and they've been getting so many good splats. Mm -hmm. The splats are through 140p, 44p. They, they've they got their zone. They need to find EU Mafia zone. The problem is, is the tactical was available um, for the Mafia and they were back. They came back. This crap deck is going to be going off. It's going to tank that suction bomb. Two members go down and talk to me. Taco's going to come through the back line. Hello. And the dude is going to have to run away. This is terrible for 144p because they have one last fight if they even want to hope to see game three. And that's the curse of double zone. If you just manage to keep your zone neutral, you don't get any penalty. And once you get back that control, you don't have anything to score. EU Mafia right now, they're on their way to the next round. And 144 p they are scrambling. <laughs> they're trying everything they have. All the try strikes and Bria Bomba coming in and it's just the zap on the side of EU Mafia. <laughs> Johnny. Okay, Johnny wow. doesn't care. Johnny is going to get it. Congratulations, EU Mafia. Uh, EU Mafia coming up clutch with some some good uh, team fight wins and good plays in that the middle that middle second half of the game, right under that 50 point mark, winning that 35 at the the fight that happened at 35. That one was pivotal. Them winning that changed the entire entire fate of this game. And uh, they played better um, game one and game two. They got some lucky bombs and some good splats, especially off uh, Takumi's double. And that's what's going to send them through to face um, Hell's Paradise yeah, in Hell's Paradise. round four. Yep. Oh, wait, what? Billy's Forfeit lost to No Way? No. Yes. 2-0 for No Way. Whoa. That's, uh, that's No Mercy's right. gone to Booyah Sub? Okay, that, that's a spicy one. Not as spicy as the No Way. Please forfeit, though. Yeah, a lot is happening, and we're going to see a lot more in the quarterfinals. That's going to happen very soon, Genie, and uh, we're going to have a, a short break before that. Don't go anywhere. Yeah.